Hey YouTube, reviewing here the Falcon 2 by Maxpedition. I just got this bag to replace my current everyday carry bag. Uh, let me show you that. This bag is made by a company called Red Rock. Um, has a great amount of molly webbing on it. I really appreciate it for that. However, the molly is basically what you see here. It's on the front and a little bit down here on the sides where I have an external water bottle mount and uh, this organizer by Maxpedition. Maybe I'll review that in another video. But this bag just wasn't serving the needs I, I had. I needed some more modular storage and this material is not waterproof being kind of an offhand company such as Red Rock is. I just got it at my local Army Navy surplus store. So, decided to upgrade to the Maxpedition due to the fact that it has this modular storage. The fabric is a Teflon material, which is water resistant, stain resistant. A few things I wanted to get into. Um, we're looking at what's a really great product due to the Molly webbing that's on it. The Molly, as you see here, has we've got three or essentially six inches of molly space down here on this bottom pouch. Two straps, uh, strips up here up top. We've got molly down the side. Um, as you can see quite a bit, we're looking at what, I guess if molly is inch by inch, you're looking at a potential of nine to 10 inches of molly here. Um, and something I just, saw as I was looking over this bag is there's even some inverted or vertical however you want to say it mounted molly straps webbing right here on the side that runs down across the bottom can't quite see it because of all these other compression straps going on in here but a really good source of molly storage now the condor pack and the voodoo I was looking at both of these did extensive I guess research if you can call searching YouTube for videos research um, and just found that the condor pack was insufficient when it came to the molly webbing on the front. We had two, if you want to call the overall inches, four inches of molly down here on the condor, two inches up here with one strap of webbing and two straps of webbing. Um, and then on the side of the condor, I think we had three strips of molly webbing on the side. The Voodoo, I think, is pretty decked out on this lower pouch. Um, however, only has one strap up top. Same story as a Condor. Three Molly um, strips down the side. And I just, I wanted more possibilities. So I wanted to have a pack that I could put larger items on, you know, with more webbing space. I needed more real estate, essentially. And so that's why I overall went with the Maxpedition. Um, so moving forward, Maxpedition, there's a lot of compression straps going on here. As you can see, we've got this one over the top. We've got two clips on either side of the bag. But what I like about this, this front facing strap um, definitely provides a lot of compression on the gut of the bag right here in the front on these two modular pouches. It's also capable of condensing the bag kind of flat, if that's something you're going for compressing it vertically. However, the straps on the side are going to, you know, pull in on these primary and secondary pockets. They're going to help cinch those tighter, where on your modular pockets here on the front, this front facing strap is going to provide that compression there. So on the bottom here, we've got these straps. Something I liked about Maxpedition versus the Condor and Voodoo Tactical bags is that these ones are they're just longer. And, and that's pretty much it because, you know, it's nice that they're longer. You can fit a sleeping bag. You know, I've got a um, zero degree bag that'll fit in here just fine. If you're a sleeping pad or a blanket, you can roll them up and you've got, you've got so much, a great diameter of space in there to compress things down. And uh, I really like that about this bag. Um, so moving forward, into the compartments, I don't want to spend too much time on this. You can get any video that'll walk you through like what guys are putting in their packs. I just got this one, I haven't figured out my arrangement yet. However, in this first modular pouch, you've got what looks like some uh, 
pen dividers for storage, cell phone, whatnots, papers, whatever you're gonna do to put in here. But that's the first compartment there. Second modular storage up top is essentially, it's just a pocket, just a zippered pouch, sunglasses, phone, food, snacks, cliff bars, whatever you got, you can stick in there. So secondary um, pouch, pocket, as I'm gonna call it on this, runs the full length of the bag. Those dimensions you can grab off the Maxpedition website. I don't have them offhand here, but uh, let's see if we can get some light down in there. So you're looking at, yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting you guys anything, all right? Am I? Um, I can speak English, I promise. We've got two meshed pouches here, one solid pouch, otherwise a nice deep area. Store whatever you want in there. The primary pouch opens all the way up, which is a super nice feature for laying things out. I saw a guy who turned this bag. Once I get more into the YouTube world, I'll be able to shoot names at you of the individual who reviewed this. But he used his bag as a, um, a weapon carry bag for taking to the range. And he liked how it laid out because you can just set everything without getting it in the dirt or dirty. I, um, I am an Apple user. Love it or hate it, however you want. But this bag will fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro with no problems. It slides right down in there. Zipper up, take it on its way. However, I don't like carrying my computer. I like to keep it at home and just uh, work off of computers in the location that I'm at. I am a student, so I have resources there um, on campus where I attend school. I'm very much, I like to travel light. So those are some of the main features. Another cool thing, inside of this bladder pouch in the back, you probably can't see him, but Right here below my fingers, running down through the pack, are two um, Velcro, sh Velcro straps. And uh, you can get some, there's an attachment I saw a guy who stuck in there and he mounted his concealed weapon, his pistol, down in there behind his bladder. And you know, I guess if you want to conceal it, I don't think I would ever use it for that purpose. Just that's, that's a lot to go through to get to your concealed weapon. However, it is, a, it is an option. Lastly, I want to show you a really cool feature. If you're one of those guys who's kind of in an urban area, if you're working, you're just into the tactical lifestyle, which I have to say I'm kind of addicted. Um, if you're working in an urban environment where you're constantly riding on public transportation, buses, trams, uh, underground metro stations, whatever it be. Let's see if I can get this zipped. Oh, we got a strap down in there. That's why it's not zipping. There we go. Um, this backpack has a really unique feature. Well, I shouldn't say unique, but rather a really neat feature. Um, there's this little piece of strip, a strap right here with a button. And what you can do is you can take, by the way, these are, the zippers have paracord on them. Uh, you can just slide those zippers right onto that strap, the ones from the secondary pouch as well. Slide right out over it. And then you just feed it down in here and clip it down. Your zippers are kept in a closed and locked position, making it more difficult for anyone who's trying to steal off of you. You know, it's just a nice safety feature. Um, anyways, that's the uh, Falcon 2 by Maxpedition. Hope you liked it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below. Appreciate it.